What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another Rust of Warfare video. In today's video, we will be covering the basics of the attack submarine over their versatile option early on. The attack submarine is built at the sea factory for a cost of 800 credits. It takes 16.7 seconds to build and has a health pool of 260. It does not have a shield. It has a surfaced move speed of 0.8 and a move speed of 0.45 while underwater. It has two attacks, both of which are mostly the same. These projectile attacks deal 42 damage every 3 seconds to all targets. The underwater attack has a range of 180 and can only be used while underwater. The ground and air attack has a range of 250 and can only be used while at the surface. The attack submarine is an interesting unit. It used to be quite poor outside of water-based maps when it was stuck under the waves. Ever since it has been allowed to surface and combat other unit types, its usefulness has increased dramatically. It even moves faster and has increased range when doing so, making it a worthy ally to the missile ship. The attack submarine mainly lacks damage output, though it is generally more well used to scout or surprise an enemy fleet of battleships. That being said, a few of these can go a long way when protecting your own battleships early on. One last thing to keep in mind is the slow projectile speed of the attack submarine. If you target something even as fast as an enemy missile ship, it is possible to outrun the attack. This does require your enemy to be actively microing their naval units, but it's something to keep in mind. So that about sums up my thoughts on the attack submarine, a unit best to use in combination with other types, or perhaps for scouting. I hope everyone enjoyed, I will see you all next time.